Home prices in the U.S. have climbed at a record pace during the pandemic. The median home price reached over $363,000 in June 2021, a 23.4% increase from 2020. Many of these houses are being sold above their asking price, often entirely in cash, with bidding wars becoming the new norm to weed out the competition. While speculation certainly is a factor, the main cause for today's demand is in the low mortgage rates. At the start of the pandemic in March 2020, the 30-year fixed-rate mortgage sat at 3.45%. In July 2021, that number had dropped to 2.87%. A little bit of a slowdown, but, but nothing major. And, and what's causing that? Well, it's just a return to normalcy. So demand has slackened somewhat, but it's still strong. What's really new is that new listings are up about 10%. We haven't seen a real increase in inventory in a long time. It was hard to persuade sellers to put their homes on the market because they thought if we wait one more month, we're going to get more money. But now I think sellers have realized we're near the top of the market. They're more eager to get their homes listed and sold. And so it's easier to put deals together than it has been in a year. So we're near the top of the market, you think? I don't think you're going to see price appreciation of 20 or 25 percent for years. So prices may still remain strong. About a third of homes are selling in a week. Um, but they aren't going to be shooting through the roof the way they were in the spring or last fall. Remote work, empty office buildings, boarded up restaurants and hotels, rising crime and high taxes would hollow out the city for years or decades. Now, who was right? Well, a year later, on the residential real estate side, that, that, side, that has rebounded. Sales more than doubling over the past year. Prices almost back to pre-pandemic levels and new rentals having their best quarter in recent history. You look at restaurant traffic, that was down 89% a year ago from pre-pandemic. Now, it's about half of those pre-pandemic levels. MTA subway ridership, it is improving, but it is still about half what it was pre-pandemic. Hotel occupancy now at around 67%. That compares to about 40% a year ago, so improvement there as well. But New York's recovery and its future depends a lot on office workers, and that is the big unknown. There was 47 million square feet of empty office space in Midtown as of the first quarter. That, and then if you look at rental rates, they are down 9% from a year ago. A year ago, only 12% of New York City workers were back in the office. Now it is 